How you doing guys? So, I'm still myself very very new to music production and DAWs in general. Uh, luckily for me, two of my best friends are incredible producers who know this software inside and out. And usually if I have any questions, I can generally go to them. And they have taught me a lot of really cool things. But for the most part, I get all my shit from the uh, just from the internet. Um, and I'm making this tutorial even though, like I said, I know pretty much nothing. Something that I was looking for, I could not find. And it was driving me absolutely insane. And it's simply the ability to link multiple things to one automation clip. And now I'll show you what I'm doing over here. So I have this thing that I'm doing. It's just very simple. Ten seconds to put this together. Intro. Well, not including the fucking automation clip shit. Um, it's just a reverse sounding fade melody kind of thing like all right now the where the automation clips come in this is actually two sounds if you listen that sub bass kind of gives a nice rounded out feel like a whole feel to it I believe and then of course just the melody and so what I had originally started doing was I just took both of these, blah blah blah, created automation clips for them, and then I would zoom in super close. And I want this. I would go here, and then this is where I would want it. And it took me way longer before, believe me. I'm just, I, I literally did it all. I did it for a long time before, so I can just kind of do it, I guess, now. Um, and I was just doing this, and then I would sit there and I would try and copy it exactly. I would look at the numbers up here, and I would try and get it exactly. And I know what you're thinking already, fuckface, there's already an easier way to do that. If you just go to the articulator, copy the state, and then paste it in the other one, there it is. It's the same thing. But counter-argument, fuckface, is then you still have two automation clips for what's literally going to be like a 10 to 15 second intro fade sound that most likely won't come up again even one time the whole song um so fuck face for me somebody who likes to stay as you can see super organized and already has panel or columns rows these are not columns these are rows rows for automation clips for literally the melody the other slash sub melody the baseline I already have rows for automation clips I don't want two for just the intro thing so how I was thinking to myself all both of these are they're just two massive channels they're not anything crazy and all I'm linking is fucking volume it should not be hard and so I googled it and I watched YouTube videos and they tried to it, they they said nothing about linking anything especially I couldn't even find online you can make an automation clip I couldn't even find anywhere how to link anything to it absolutely no idea I I like I said I'm I don't use automation clips by the way because this this song is actually my first experience using automation clips just because they terrify me to no end just because you can't I can't just copy this part of it and then paste it over here and treat it you know like any other thing and so it's I don't know it's I gotta get used to it I know it's they're used constantly automation clips I need to get more comfortable with it but like I said I, d I just haven't because they're just scary to me um, and I just I couldn't figure out fucking for the life of me how to link anything to this and finally I came up with it and so hopefully somebody who's watching this is really trying to link things to a fucking automation clip and they just can't find it online because I, I'm dumber than people assume the dumbest is I suppose when it comes to this stuff um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to the things instead of creating automation clip link to controller click on new link 
and then auto clip is the name or whatever the automation clip you want to link it to is this just happens to be called auto clip because that's what we made and then do the same thing for this one but what you're gonna see on yours um, potentially not I, I can't guarantee it I it was originally for me you'll see this lit up and this is remove conflicts what this is gonna do is because there's already something linked to this controller removing conflict just means it's gonna unlink the other thing and this will be the only thing linked so basically the opposite of what I'm trying to do it undoes me finishing what I'm trying to do so make sure you uncheck that and then click accept and that's pretty much it and here's another thing that I learned about automation clips <clears throat> that I'm sure is much more common knowledge but I'll throw it in here anyway just in case it's not since I'm already doing this part you can cut automation clips like you can an audio file and I know wow big deal whatever for me it's actually I don't know it's pretty cool because for example I like my friend uses gross beat um, which I don't know if you know what gross beat is it it's not it's not here um, gross beat looks like this and like a side chain right here it's the same thing basically as you'd get from an automation clip but it does I, I don't know it's more intimidating to me than a fucking just the automation clip so he uses that I guess I'll just stick to this for now eventually maybe if I'm not that much of a pussy I'll move forward um, anyway so this is like say I have all of this this is the same thing three times it's just this because it does it three times so it's the same thing three times but if I want to add another thing right here all I gotta do is make this unique and then see because if I don't oh my god alright if I didn't make it unique and then I tried to edit it it edits the fucking rest of them so the ability to make it unique I think is an additional thing that's really cool and I'm going to show you guys one more thing just because I was watching a YouTube tutorial where the guy who's giving the tutorial did not know this about Massive so I don't know how many people don't know this about Massive but for those of you who don't I will show you because it is if you don't know this about Massive it could be a game changer um, he was saying how <clears throat> he doesn't like to make bases with Massive because you can't get an actual number see that doesn't give you an actual number but what you can do is if you just whatever you want say I want this I just wiggle it for a minute but in this instance I'm going to show you this just move it around for a second then go to tools last tweaked and you could either link it to a controller or create an automation clip and then so that'll that that's how you can control all of these from automation clips um, I don't remember which tutorial I was watching but they weren't sure that you could or didn't know how so I just figured I'd throw that in there while I'm already doing this but that's it I hope somebody maybe learned potentially a thing or not even that's fine too if you're still watching this and you didn't learn a thing though beat do you do something else <laughs> what are you doing show any things you already know um, so yeah, that's it. Hopefully it was helpful. If not, I don't care because I wish that the video I'm recording right now was up, you know, an hour, hour and a half ago when I was looking for these, for this information. So hopefully it'll help somebody maybe one day. If not, I don't care. Peace out.